Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and it appears sinister forces are at play to stop former President Donald Trump. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. And if you're not watching us on YouTube, guys, the address is right there in the lower right-hand corner. It's youtube.com forward slash at Explain America. Going there and hitting subscribe absolutely for free helps us to help you conserve true American values. We've seen it all. We saw it from 2015 when he came down the escalator. We saw it his whole presidency when they impeached him twice and tried everything they could to get rid of him. We saw it in 2020 when they did everything they could to stack the deck in that election against former President Donald Trump. We're seeing it now. The deep state, the globalists are in a panic. You saw what happened to him in Butler, Pennsylvania. You saw what happened with the lawfare. They will stop at nothing. And I believe there is more to these stories than meets the eye. And you saw it just the other day when Elon Musk alleged that there was a DDoS attack on his servers on X, formerly Twitter, to stop people from hearing what President Trump had to say in his Twitter space. Now, what are they so afraid of? If his ideas are so horrible, what is it they're so afraid of? What don't they want people to hear? What they don't want people to hear is the truth, that these are wildly popular policies, that they would help the American people, that they would improve the economy and improve the border and improve our lives. Well, they're terrified of that. They don't want you to know that. And Laura Trump talks about it here. I want you to listen to her and tell me if you agree with her that sinister forces are at play. Yeah, Sean, I think it's pretty obvious at this point. There are a lot of people out there, and there's a massive effort, of course, to keep Donald Trump out of the White House. These people are terrified. This is the deep state. This is the swamp in Washington, D.C. These are the people who are our adversaries in many cases, and they know that the jig is up, the game is over when Donald J. Trump returns to the White House, and they're petrified of it. They have had a free pass for three and a half years. The, the people who want to do nefarious activities to us here in America, to our allies around the world, they've gotten a free pass and a free ride, and they would like another four years of that with Kamala Harris at the helm. Donald Trump is the only person who can deliver this country back to we the people, the only person who can make sure that the world is stabilized once again and there are, I assume, Sean, a lot of people out there who don't want to see that happen for really awful reasons, quite frankly. What I can tell you is that none of this deters Donald Trump. His resolve has never been stronger to become the 47th president of the United States. And I think, quite frankly, the more attacks like this you see, the more pushback against Donald Trump and the more they go out of their way to try and stop this man, whether it's indictments, whether it's impeachments, quite frankly, whether it's a bullet, it just shows the American people this is the only person but, who would still be in this fight going strong. It's Donald J. Trump, and I believe that's why he'll be our next president.